Greetings, dear viewers. Today, we've got some incredibly exciting news to share with you that's going to have a massive impact on the lives of millions of Americans. I'm talking about Senator John Larson's game-changing decision to approve an extra $1,000 for Social Security SSI and SSDI beneficiaries. That's right, folks. Boosted checks are on the horizon. And we've got all the juicy details for you. Our experts will also weigh in on how this boost is going to relieve financial stress and elevate the quality of life for SSI and SSDI beneficiaries. Welcome to Money Matters, your go-to channel for all things stimulus check updates and social security. First, let's talk about eligibility. Survivor benefits come into play when your spouse passes away, and you qualify for these benefits if you're at full retirement age or older. At this stage, you can potentially receive up to a remarkable 100% of your late partner's social security payments. This substantial financial assistance can make a world of difference in maintaining your financial stability. Now, what if you're not yet at full retirement age? The good news is that you still have options. Between the ages of 60 and full retirement age, you're eligible for a percentage of your deceased partner's benefit amount, which can range from 71.5 to 99%. This ensures that you don't have to wait until full retirement age to receive essential support. But what if you're in a situation where you're dealing with a disability and are between the ages of 50 and 59? Your survivor benefits remain a viable source of income, providing you with 71.5% of your late spouse's benefits. This can be a crucial lifeline for those facing health challenges while grieving. Here's an intriguing twist to the survivor benefit story if you have a dependent child who is underage, you're entitled to a percentage of your late spouse's benefits regardless of your age. The range here varies from 16 to 75 percent. Depending on specific circumstances, this additional support can be instrumental in ensuring your child's well-being during a difficult period. But that's not all, there's more to this story. Did you know that even ex-spouses can tap into the Social Security Spousal Benefit Loophole? If you were once married to your ex for at least a decade before parting ways, you can still apply for this benefit. The ex-spousal benefit operates in a manner quite similar to regular survivor benefits, offering you up to 50% of what your ex-spouse receives when you reach full retirement age. However, there's a catch, you must remain unmarried and be at least 62 years old to be eligible. When it comes to social security benefits, the conventional wisdom is that you must toil away for a specific number of years to accumulate the necessary work credits. However, Hidden within the complex labyrinth of social security rules is a little-known gem, the social security spousal benefit loophole. This loophole offers a novel approach to securing financial support during your retirement without the need for decades of labor. So, here's the scoop, once you reach your full retirement age, you may be eligible to claim up to a substantial 50% of your spouse's social security benefits, regardless of your own work history. Yes, you heard that right, Half of your partner's hard-earned benefits can become yours, providing a significant financial cushion for your golden years. It's a remarkable avenue for those who might not have built a substantial work record of their own. Now, here's where it gets intriguing. If your spouse decides to file for their benefits early, both of you will receive reduced benefits from that point forward. This is a rule that often worries potential beneficiaries, as it seems like a drawback. However, there's a crucial exception to this reduction rule. If you happen to be caring for a qualifying child, your benefits won't be subjected to any reduction. This exception can be a game changer for families in need of this vital financial support. But what if you've had a successful career and earned your own social security work credits? Well, the good news is that you have options. You can choose to receive benefits from your own account, or you can opt for the spousal benefit, selecting whichever option provides the higher payout. This flexibility allows you to maximize your financial security during retirement, ensuring you receive the most substantial benefit available to you. Within the intricate web of social security, an often overlooked aspect is the timing of benefit payments, and it's intriguingly tied to your birth date. This system ensures that benefits are distributed efficiently throughout the month, accommodating the diverse birth dates of recipients. If your birthday falls between the 1st and 10th of the month, you can mark your calendar for the second Wednesday as the day your social security funds will land in your account. For those born between the 11th and the 20th, it's the third Wednesday that holds the promise of financial support. 
And if your birthday falls between the 21st and the 31st of the month, circle the fourth Wednesday as your payment day. This unique structure ensures that individuals across the entire calendar month have access to their benefits in a staggered manner, making it an efficient and equitable system. Now, let's pivot to the captivating realm of COLAs, or cost of living adjustments. These adjustments came into play during the turbulent 1970s when significant inflation threatened to erode the purchasing power of compensation-related contracts, real estate agreements, and government benefits. The COLA formula, a vital component of social security, is rooted in the Consumer Price Index for Urban Wage Earners and Clerical Workers, CPIW, meticulously calculated by the Bureau of Labor Statistics, BLS. It acts as the benchmark for COLA calculations used by the Social Security Administration, SSA. The COLA formula itself is quite straightforward, it involves multiplying the percentage increase in the CPIW from one year's third quarter to the next. This calculation ensures that Social Security benefits keep pace with the ever-changing cost of living, offering recipients a degree of protection against the erosion of their purchasing power due to inflation. In the annals of Social Security history, the tumultuous 1970s stand as a significant turning point. During this period, rampant inflation cast a looming shadow over the financial security of millions of Americans, threatening to erode the value of compensation-related contracts, real estate arrangements, and government benefits. It was against this backdrop that cost-of-living adjustments, or COLAs, emerged as a beacon of financial stability. COLAs were ingeniously crafted to act as a buffer. Shielding individuals from the adverse effects of surging prices, they introduced a dynamic element into Social Security, allowing benefits to adapt and keep pace with the ever-changing cost of living. The crux of this system lies in the Consumer Price Index for Urban Wage Earners and Clerical Workers, CPIW, an index meticulously calculated by the Bureau of Labor Statistics, BLS. This index became the cornerstone of COLA calculations serving as the gauge for determining the adjustments required to maintain the purchasing power of Social Security benefits. So, how does this all work? The COLA formula, though seemingly simple, holds immense significance. It entails multiplying the percentage increase in the CPIW from the third quarter of one year to the third quarter of the next. This precise calculation ensures that Social Security benefits remain relevant and valuable in the face of inflation providing recipients with a financial lifeline that evolves with the times. The beauty of this system is that it's transparent and accessible. The Social Security Administration, SSA, regularly updates COLA information on its website, empowering beneficiaries with up-to-date knowledge that allows for effective financial planning and informed decision-making. Thank you for joining me, your go-to channel for all things stimulus checks and personal finance tips. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.